Hello, hello, everybody. This is Milky. Today, I'm going to share with you my first impression video for Harvest Moon One World, which is just released earlier today. As a fan for the Harvest Moon series, I had so many good childhood memory playing it. I'm still really, really attached to this title. Even though Harvest Moon is not the same Harvest Moon anymore, I still want to give this game a chance. From my heart, I really hope this is a great game. Then I could have double amount of good farming games to play. Also, I know a lot of you are wondering which game to buy: Harvest Moon One World or The Story of Season: Pioneer of Olive Town. I can definitely give a comparison of these two and let you know which one I like better. And let's start our Harvest Moon journey together. We're a girl. And then we can choose the. Oh, I don't know why it happens to me a few times. So it, it could be my controller, but when I move my controller, it seems to be extra sensitive. See, sometimes I only want to move one, and then it will suddenly jump to other places. Hopefully, it's just my controller and not the game. And just based on the start, it seems like we have a lot less. Character customization options. We can first pick our skin color, then our hair color. Oh, I wish they had given me a pink option. Oops, a pink option for the hair. Ah,、uh, if we don't have it, I guess I'll start with purple. I kind of like it. And then also we cannot rotate our character while we were modeling them. And then which eye color? I usually go with purple, but today I guess I will go with red. Yeah, I really like this look. Let's hit confirm and get started. Okay, I'm gonna pick Milky as my name, and we can pick a birthday. And、uh, sometimes it could give some extra button, even though I didn't mean it. And I tried with other games, definitely not the co my controller's issue though. You can see I was trying to go right, but sometimes it would jump up and down. Uh, but anyways, I can successfully reach 18, and we can get started. Hopefully, it's just something that happens at the start, and in the game, we'll all be good. And here we are. It seems like we are reading a book. It's saying, long time ago, people were living harmony under the reign of our beautiful harvest goddess. I'm glad that at least they still have harvest goddess in it. And then, I wonder what happened. Uh, is that our little little house though? And is that our mom? I'll be so surprised. Oh, that is mom. I'm tiny bit surprised about our storyline. I thought grandpa is gonna give us a farm, but apparently it starts with mom. And mom says, "Oh, Milky, could you come here a minute?" Sure. So let's go talk to mom. It's kind of funny how my room have no door, and this is our whole house. Okay, hey mom. It looks like we're running a bit low on potatoes. Do you mind talk to the dog to go look for more? Sure, mom. No problem. Hehe. <laughs> That would be great if you find something else to eat besides potatoes. Are we always eating potatoes? It's kind of interesting how the heart is right next to mom, and there's only five heart. So maybe that's how it will work when we talk to the rest of the villagers too. That's pretty convenient. Then we don't have to go to the relationship tab and find out what their heart is. I do like that part. Okay, I'll be careful out there, Mom. So let's go. Oh, one thing I have to mention is that the loading time is definitely a lot less when we get out of the room. And I wonder who this is. It's Doctor Junior, and he's like cough cough. Well, that's weird. Could have sworn I got the wiring right. Wonder what went wrong, huh? Oh, it's you, Milky. Hello, Doctor Junior. New seeds. That will be the day when we have a conversation with the character. It kind of zooms in to us. But I, in terms of 3D model and how the character looks, so far I'm still on Olive Town side. The character does looks a lot cuter. But I guess I shouldn't be too quick to judge. I haven't met all the people in Harvest Moon One World yet. So far, they're still giving me the Harvest Moon Light of Hope vibe、uh, in terms of the art style. And then Doctor Junior says, "Glean anything new of it? Nah, nah. Ah,、uh, well, you will find something later. That book really is you, or you think about, it, isn't it? It is kind of cool how the character have facial expressions when we talk to them. I really wish we can have a game with the Olive Tom graphic, but they do this zooming thing when we do the dialogue. That would be the perfect game. 
And then Dr. Junior says, "Hey, no need to be upset. It's the truth, right? Come on, let's rustle up some food. Where are you going, Dr. Dr. Junior? Okay, let's go follow Dr. Junior. The world definitely looks a lot more empty." Well, what do you expect? <laughs> It's like Dr. Junior heard me saying the world looks a little bit empty. Maybe that's intentional. The the trees and there's only a little bit grass. There's no animal. There's no leaf dropping. I'm just really surprised. And we didn't find anything around here when we checked it out before either. Aww. Well, the only place you could find a full crop of veggie is in the book. Is is in that book of yours. Anywho, if we got time to talk, we've got time to look for potatoes. Okay, let's go look some more potatoes. Say now, don't tell me you've forgotten how to look, have you? Ah,、uh, and then they will teach you a song thing about looking. Okie dokie, we just need to press A, and then let's look around. Oh, look like you'll find one. Yeah, finally we found something. Of course, it's a potato. That's all anyone ever finds around this part, after all. Well, I can't wait to see how the world will look once we fix it and、uh, recover whatever that's wrong within the world. Oh, <laughs> it's funny how our character gets so angry. Hey, why are you getting all mad about? Calm down already. Ba 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 ba. Tomato, cabbage, carrot. Never heard of them. Are those vegetables you learned in that book of yours? Yep, yep. And、oh, we should definitely mention turnip. I hate to tell you, but that's just a fairy tale. Be realistic, buddy. All we got is potato here. Oh. <laughs> now pull yourself together. We don't want to starve, Mom. Now, so I think that's all the potato we need. Then let's go. Oh, what's happening? It seems like maybe harvest, right? You have, if I have to guess. What are you looking at? I don't see anything. That must be harvest, right? You alright, Milky? The book got you seeing things. Huh? Harvest wisp? You mean those spirit that helps growing crop? If harvest wisps really do exist, maybe we could get our hands on some new vegetable. Yippee! Yippee! Let's go check it out. What a sight to see! I've never seen you excitedly excited as this before. Okay, let's go chase him. Did you really find one? We really did. All right, all right. Go on then. After it. Okay. The intro cutscene is quite long, but it's pretty interactive. Let's go take a look. Where is it? Oh, and it stopped by a well. And it seems like there's an acorn on it that we can pick up. Oh, hello, Harvest Bright. I have no idea there was something like this around here. Me too. Yeah, it sure looks like a well to me. Guess someone used it a long time ago. All right. He doesn't know.、Uh, he can't see Harvest Bright. The red thing from. Before is next to where you'll say seriously. I don't see anything. If you get too close, you might run off. You know. Okey dokey. After the talk, we decided that maybe the harvest brides want some acorn. So I'm gonna gather some acorn for the harvest brides. The acorn looks super huge, though. That's some massive acorn. At least the harvest bride liked it. There you go. Oh, and he gave me some seed of turnips. Thank you. Okey dokey. So me and Doctor Junior decided to use the seed and then start growing it ourselves. Apparently, our character has been secretly developing the tool ourselves too. You got a hoe? Great. Let's find some fields with potato growing in them. So we were teleported into a field and let's try do some farming. There we go. We hold the land. Okay, that looks pretty good. Land. Then let's plant the seed. Okey dokey. So we just need to have the seeds on them, and then press A to get them. Okey dokey. So let's press A, and here's our seeds. Tada! Next, we need some water. I'll show you how to get it. You'll need the water can first. Ah,、uh, oh, apparently we have the water can too. I think there's a lot more handholding at the start in Harvest Moon One World than Story of Season. Uh, it might be good for new players. I just can't wait to run around the town and start exploring things. Hopefully, we、we'll、get to do that once we finish the initial tutorial. Okay, I finished the watering and decided to go home because we need to wait until the seeds are ready. Oh wow, I really like how little loading there is though. And mom is like, "Welcome home, Milky." Hello, mom. Give the potatoes in your bag to your mom as a gift. I see. This is the gift tutorial. It's a little bit weird that we don't have the bar at the bottom, and then in order to give to somebody, we need to first go to our bag and then click on hold, and then give it to mom. Why? Thank you. They certainly do look delicious. 
Oh, don't look so blue. You can look for new wedges again tomorrow. You will try. You're trying too hard to find them. I'm sure you will one day, Milky. Yeah, I'm sure we will. And when can we explore the town too, Mom? I can't wait to meet everybody. Whoa, what's happening at night? It seems like the wheel that we met Harper's Bride before are glowing, and some flowery sprite jumped out. Oh, I don't know why we realized that and we ran out at night. That's really dangerous. Hello! Oh, she's so cute looking! Stupendous! A seed has sprouted! I can hardly believe it! I wonder is this new kind of harvest bright? But she has a name, it's Wee Tai. Oh my, could it be you could it be that you can see me? Yep, yep, I could. And I can see the little flower growing out of you. Ah, oh, I see, you must be the one who cultivated the seeds. It's thanks to you that I've relieved. Say, what's your name? My name is Milky. Milky, is it? Ho ho, what a wonderful name indeed. My name is Witai, the Harvest Bride of Life. So she is a Harvest Bride. She must be the cutest Harvest Bride I've met. You saw one like me? That must be one of my king. Okie dokie, so she's kind of like a Harvest Bride princess feeling. And she says, No need to fear, everybody. Do come out. Ah, uh, is its group of Harvest Bride gonna run out? Where are you guys? Oh, look at that. Oh, I miss the rainbow color Harvest Bride. They're still how I remember the like in Mineral Town. And the Vitae said, Hee hee, surprise are you? These are the Harvest Whips. By the way, Milky, what drew you here at such a late hour? Ah yes, that was the light that spun upon my revival. Normally, humans shouldn't be able to see it. It appears that you may possess some mysterious power. Oh, our so familiar Harvest Moon plot. So, Vitae gave us a medallion and uh, gave us a quest to seek for the remaining medallion. Okay, it all sounds super familiar. Almost reminds me of Light of Hope. And she told us that once we collect all the medallions, the Harvest Goddess will return. That's awesome! I can't wait to meet the Harvest Goddess. A fairy tale, I assure you, the Harvest Goddess is quite real. Oh, that's awesome! She may not appear before us, but she continues to watch over us for all of the time. Oh, that's good to know. You're about to witness to history, Milky. What could that be? Ta. Da! I imagine he's saying that. And then what's happening? It's just a giant stone and seems like we're holding something. It must be a pickaxe of some sort. Oh wow! It's the giant house? What? Zim Zim Kaban! I bet you didn't expect this. I call it the Expendo Farm. Now you can set up farm anytime. <gasps> That is amazing! I do like that! I wish I can take that every single day just in my hand and then pa -bang, create a farm wherever in real life. I need this! My own genius truly frightens me. <laughs> I love him. And he said, come here, let me give you the rundown of your new state of, ha state of art expando farm. This is your farm's power source. I named him Sparky. Good naming. Hello, I am Sparky. Nice to meet you, people. <laughs> I love it. Feed him items to save energy for your farm. Feed me already. Oh wow, Sparky is pushy. I'm starving here. Beep, pop, pop. <laughs> alright, alright, ready? Go on, Milky, feed this to him. Oh, I can't believe we really need to feed it to him. So is it more like a shipping bin? Not potatoes again, beep. <laughs> I love Sparky, he's so funny. Quit the whining, we're, all, we're in the same boat as you. Fair enough. Okay, Sparky, let's feed you. So let's give him a potato and... Uh, guess I will work a bit. <laughs> Gosh, he's so funny. There, now you got some energy, so let's get to work. Listen up, Milky. This here is a mobile farm. Don't forget, you always need energy to function. Okay, that's something new. Based on the doctor, we can store our farm once Sparky's energy is full. So let's try it. <laughs> Ta-da! I guess we can take all the home back. Poof! That's pretty nice. It almost worked like magic. Maybe the doctor is a harvest prize. You see that? A building that big now fits in the palm of your hand. Wonderful, wonderful! You're such a great doctor! Easy peasy, right? Still, you have to fulfill a few conditions during the setup. 
Okay, so we told our mom that we are going to go on a trip, and she fully supports us. What a nice mom! But the only thing she wants is for us to find some potato for today's dinner. And let's go check out our farm yesterday. You can see there's a mini map sh here show that our crop is ready. Tada! We got the turnip. Okay, so let's see if we need to find more potato for mom or turnip is okay. Oh, I guess we have nothing else. One thing I'm still getting used to is how empty the world is. <laughs> it will take me a while to get used to this. And mom, I'm home with some turnip. Oh, Milky, what is this? I can't believe it. You found new food for us. Yes, it's the magic of farming, mom. The time of our departure has come. We have already said goodbye to mom, and Doctor Junior gave something called Dog Pad. It's a farming configuration tour and a way to communicate to me. <laughs> This really reminds me of a Pokemon game. You'll get it if you try it. All you need to know is it's as awesome as I am. You're welcome. Oh, I'll miss you, Doctor Junior. Hopefully, he'll move in with us once we settle down in a town. Okay, there we go. After getting the doctor pad, we finally have some options. So first of all, we have our calendar. Oh, it's kind of neat that we can see the weather just straight from our calendar. I love that. We can't see any birthday yet. Oh, we can see our own birthday. Maybe in the future we will be able to and check out the festival stuff. Then here's our bag and the important items. I wonder what's this? Oh, it's our farm. <laughs> It looks hilarious. And then here's our friend. Then also to do request. Okay, the, the first request we got is go on an adventure. And it seems like the world is pretty large. There's a beach section, the mountain section, the mining section, and the, some kind of a snowy village and the lava land. Oh wow! I can't wait to explore them all. Then here's our save and load screen, and then some options. It seems like in the options, all we can adjust is the music. I wish we can adjust how fast the text speed is, but that's okay. And let's go on and exploring. Seems like the time finally started moving, and this is probably where we need to move on. Hello. Ah, it seems like Vite removed the big rock for us, so we can finally start traveling. Find the harvest whips. You will receive a seed from it. There are parents' conditions such as season and time. Okay, that's pretty rare to get early seeds. You can see what harvest whips you found so far by viewing the list. Okie dokie, the location will also show on our mini map, so we will meet our first one. Hello, hello. I'm gonna call you Purpley. -E. And he gave us a purple uh potato seeds and just gone. Potato again. I was thinking that we will get turnip. Oh, I guess we already got the turnip. And、uh, here is a road that's blocked, so I guess we can only go this way. The world! I can't wait to revive it and have tons of beautiful flowers around the world. And we got another quest, which is expand our farm in this super obvious farming plot. Okay, let's do this. Let's feed Sparky. Oh, I thought we need to feed him first before we spend. Expand it, but all right, we when we store it, his energy need to be full. But I guess when we expand it, his energy can be anything. And tada! Here's our farm and our animal barn. I wonder where do we get animal? Right now it's pretty pretty empty, but um, it seems like we can either tame or buy the animal. I'm looking forward to tame a wild and a wild animal. And I guess this is our starting farm. Maybe I could already put some seeds in. So let's first tow it and then put our plato seeds down, and then probably do some watering. There we go. Uh, it seems like we don't need to select tools at all. It's just the game will automatically figure it out which tool to select. Hmm, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but it's not bad. And here's another harvest prize. Hello, hello. Do you have a seeds for me too? Okay, red bell pepper seeds. Um, okay, let's put it right here ish. I'm still not too used to how we have no tool bar and everything is just automatically figured it out. While being convenient, it kind of loses a little bit of its charm. Oh, and here's the first town people that we're gonna meet. Hello, and she said, "Oh, good day to you, lass. Good day to you too." Happens to you around these parts? You passing through? Yep, yep. 
and I travel with my farm. Traveling the world to find ingredients, you say? Well, I will be meeting a lass like you. Must be a stroke of fate. How about we talk a little bit of business? <gasps> is she a traveling merchant? Merchant? Oh, it seems like she is. That's amazing. Okay, I'm definitely interested to do business with you. Ah, she is our Zack. She said that when, if we put things into the shipping bin, she will come collect the items we put in here and get some money. We can get some money for it. Wow, I'm impressed though, because we're going to travel around the world. She can always pinpoint where we are and get our stuff out of the shipping bin. You sure works hard, Samantha. Yep, you have a deal, Samantha. And she said, right then, I look forward for your future patrons. No problem. And here's our little shipping bin. Then, also, we can get back items from the shipping bin if it hasn't been shipped. Okay, that's pretty nice. So far, I don't have anything to give yet, so we'll skip that. And let's take a look at our starting building. One thing that kind of is a little bit weird for me now is that when we go into a building, we don't need to click on A, you just need to get close and it will automatically teleport you to the building. So seems like the time still moves inside and <gasps> this must be our dog. Be the ball for our dog. I can't wait to meet our dog soon. And here's a little drawer. A little mini fridge and our bed and a little bit of book about animals, fishes, dishes and oars. Okie dokie. It's a pretty standard home and I don't think we can move anything. At least right now. Not sure whether we can move it in the future. It's good that our home come with a storage at the start though. Oh, what is this? Today I'm traveling and it seems like I meet my first part of the town. And uh, there's a, this giant stone with a dog that's inside the cage. I wonder what does that mean? But at least I spotted some harvest bright too. And finally, I'm going to see some town people and some cows. Hello. Hmm, what is this, Milky? I think it's a cow. The animals here doesn't look as healthy as the ones in your book. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they look pretty sad. What business do you got here? Oh, hello. What? What did I do? My, what a fearsome character has appeared before us. Yeah, he's so tall. Sorry, y'all. His bark is worse than his bite, I swear. <laughs> I like how we can see semi how tall everybody is, even just by speaking with them. And who might you be exactly? Well, I'm Milky. Milky, huh? I'm Elijah, and this is Brayden over here. Welcome to Humble Callison. Apologies for the fright, well, no worries. Most of us here farm. Brayden is a farmer. Not for much long, I wager. But what happens, Brayden? Take a gander around. The cows are sick, the goats and chickens aren't faring much better. Oh, poor animals. Can't carry on living like this. It's only a matter of time before. No, Brayden, you can't shut down the farm, you hear me? Yep, yeah, Brayden. Elijah, what choice do I got? Oh, Brayden. Well, hopefully we can help them to fix their farm and take care of the moomoos. Take an interest in the life the stock, I see. Yeah, I love them. Raise them yourself, huh? You have a place to keep them? I do, I do. That right? Follow me then. Ta-da! Is he gonna give us a cow? That would be great. But they will be unhappy though. Hopefully we can cure the cow somehow with our harvest goddess magic. Oh no, it seems like before we get our animal, we have to go through another series of tutorial. And apparently we need to clean their poo a little bit. Okay, let's try it. And then it can be used later for fertilizer. After the cleaning is done, it's feeding time. I feel like we should feed and then clean, don't you think, Brayden? Place the feed into different feeding bin. Okay, we can do that. So, let's put down that. Everything is so automatic. I don't even need to select feeds and you just go straight to there. Once all of the animals are fed, all of them must be brushed and then finally pet. Building trust with your animal is also part of the rancher's job. No problem. I will definitely not slack off. You bet, Brandon. And here's a healthy move for us to pet. They look kinda kinda like a piggy if you look them from straight on. Um <laughs> Okay, hello Moo. Pet, 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 pet. And, oh, it seems like we can see their affection by just doing this too. After the petting, maybe we can go. Once all of the animals are fed, all of them must be brushed and then finally pet. 
All right, I need to brush them too. Uh, how do we brush them? Oh, there we go. You, we just click A again and it's automatically brushed. And we can also milk the cow. There we go. Ta-da! We got our milk. That's pretty fast. Well, let's do some shearing. And jiang 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 jiang, here's a little sheep. It does look quite cute. Oh, oh, <laughs> it seems like they can push us when we are in their way. And let's cut his fur. Her fur? Well, it doesn't seem like uh, th they were cut. There's no difference. Well, that's okay. No need. Take this too. You will need it. Oh, what? Are, what is she get? He gonna give it to us? <gasps> All the tools? Oh, thank you so much, Brayden. You're the best. Oh, that was a lot of tutorial. I'm glad we finally to get to explore a little bit more. And let's talk to Harvest Bride and get some seeds. It's a kind of an interesting way to get some early seeds. And this must be their home. Ta-da! They have some milk cans and then really basic stuff. It seems like people in this town is having a lot worse time than what's happening in Olive Town. They don't have much furniture at home. Hopefully we can get some furniture and upgrade their home later too. Hello, Moo Moo. Well, hello, cows. <laughs> I love calling them Moo Moo. And let's go around the town. Oh wow, we still have so many harvest rides among this map. I love how we can just get free seeds by running around. I wonder when can we start fishing? Ta-da! This fishing side! Well, I'm looking forward for the fishing. And I just wanna show you guys the safe thing. So apparently we can save any time of the day, but there's only three safe slots. Oh, I really really wish they could give us more safe slots. And with that, I think that wraps up our today's first impression video. There is definitely a lot of tutorial and cussing going on at the start, and I feel like I barely get time to explore the world. Even though there are things I like better about the game, like short loading time, and we can zoom in to see the characters' faces when talking. Overall, I think I still like the art style and graphic of Story of Season, Pioneer of Olive Town much much more. The world is so beautiful in Olive Town and animals are super cute. Just based on what I have played and the start of the game, I definitely love Olive Town more. But I can give more thorough and fair comparison once I play more One World. Who knows, maybe you will get super awesome later in game and make me change my mind. I'm curious to know what do you think about the game? Do you like One World or the Story of Season Pioneer of Olive Town better? And are you interested in seeing me play more Harvest Moon One World? I definitely hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so so much for watching, and special thanks for my awesome Patreon donors, you guys are the best! And as always, I'll see you guys next time!